The Will You Grow Show goes live Sundays 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern. To receive notifications, click the subscribe button beneath this video or visit YouTube's Will You Grow channel to see more shows and videos. And now, here's Will You founder Angelique Meadow with this week's Will You Grow Show. Welcome to the Will You Grow Show. How are you? I'm Angelique, founder of Will You and WillYouGrow.com, an inspirational multimedia company that provides personal growth and joy through education, conversations, and adventures like the one we're having today. We are obviously not in the studio. We are out here on our Butis Lake, which is one of my childhood most favorite lakes to come to. It was the, the most treasured time that we had when I was not working. There are so many hardworking families here in Wisconsin. We often come from a farm background where it's work, 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 and then work some more. So the time that I did have to be able to spend some Saturdays here on the lake from time to time was just some of the most treasured memories I had from childhood. And it was on this lake where I learned about the power of intuition and nature and how nature could teach me back and forth communication between me and nature about how to become more intuitive and how to learn to have the courage to ask for what it was that I wanted and needed. We are in the series of shows about personal growth through nature. And so today we're going to talk about in-depth experience that I've had about learning about becoming more intuitive through this lake, Lake Arbutus and Mother Nature that surrounds her. Take a look at my recent experience I had where I actually allowed myself some time to get into the water and enjoy the experience of being here. pristine and quiet, not a boat out on the lake, incredible. It's abnormally warm here for Wisconsin, as most of the Wisconsinites know. At this time of year in September, there are times when we can get down into the 30s, but we have had gorgeous 80 degree weather during the daytime. And I am here in my swimming suit, <laughs> getting ready to get into this water and swim in my childhood favorite lake great memories. Um, this is also where I had had my very first very intimate uh, experience with communication with nature and the ability for us to be able to ask for things that we need or even just ask for greater intuition. Now we are in a series of shows, a series of shows about personal growth through nature and this particular show is about asking. It's about not only being courageous enough to ask for what it is that we'd like to learn or know, but knowing that it can and will reply to us. It will give us the information that we are asking for. Sometimes it's quick and sometimes it's not so quick, but either way, nature is alive and nature can hear us and nature will respond to our needs. Just as when a bird is flying out in nature and it is hungry and things come to it and it picks its food up and eats, nature can hear the call of the hungry. Nature can hear the call of the needs of the people and it will supply things for us when we are open to receiving. The one thing that we need to be able to do is be humble enough to recognize that we personally in our small little self are not in control of everything in this world. Some things come from outside of us. Well, it's partly inside if you look at it from a very spiritual point of view. It's all us, but at the same time, if we are working in our small self and define ourselves as, for example, a CEO. That CEO may be able to provide quite well for itself and its employees, but at the same time, there might be some things that it needs or some things that come to it that are not provided by that person. It might be provided by the one that makes all. It might be provided by nature. It might be provided by some genetics and history and karma and all those sorts of things. So when we tap into that part of us that is not just the CEO, for example, and say, I would like to experience more intuition, then we invite that to ourself. But the power comes in asking with humility, believing that and knowing that we are not the only one in charge of this experience and what comes to us, as well as recognizing that the power that makes our heart beat and makes our food digest and makes our 
lungs breathe, that power that makes the world turn and the tides roll, <laughs> all those things that it has the ability to be able to provide for us, to give us those things that we are asking for. So we need to be able to be courageous enough to ask. We need to be humble and courageous so that we can ask for those things to come to us. When I was first starting my intuitive journey with nature, it was here on the shoreline. It was right here amongst these trees where you now see the kayaks. That's where I was sitting. When I was reading Laura Day's book about intuition, and I was learning about how to communicate with life, nature, God, whatever you might like to call it. And as I was sitting there and reading in Laura Day's book, one of the things that she suggested that we do to begin to hone our intuition is to ask for something, to ask for a sign, or to ask for something that we need, and to watch and wait to see what it is that life would bring us. So as I was sitting there, I noticed that I was hungry. <laughs> That's what I noticed. I noticed I was hungry, and so, as you can see, there are a lot of cottages around here, but, well, not a whole lot, but considerable number of cottages. During the week, like it is now, there's nobody out here. You can hear one lawnmower in the background, <laughs> but other than that, it's quiet. There isn't anybody out here, there are no restaurants, nothing like that, it's quiet. So I just said, I'm hungry, I'm hungry which is a request of nature that I'm hungry and I'd like something to eat. And it was moments later that an enormous raptor came down. I could hear a tussle and I heard some squawking like it had maybe gone into, gotten into something with another bird. And it came right in front of me within feet. Could have been, I don't know, maybe six feet or so. And right along the shoreline, right here, it dropped two baby birds. Yeah, it dropped two baby birds. Now, for some people, they might think that's gross. But the reality is, it's food. It's two baby birds. It's all those beautiful things. But nature heard that I was hungry, and the raptor dropped two baby birds at my feet. That's a sign. And that's the power of having a deep connection with nature, having a deep connection with our own soul and our own needs, and asking for what it is that we need or want. Now, you might say, but I've been asking for things for my whole life and I don't get them. Well, maybe so. But what part of you is actually getting in the way of you receiving what you want? And that's part of why I did this show today. Because when I asked for, the, for food and said I was hungry, I had no resistance to that. I didn't think, oh, I'm hungry and I want food and feel in my body with my feelings the opposite and feel like I don't deserve food or feel like I can't possibly get any food because there isn't any out here. I didn't feel opposite of what I thought. So when we don't have any resistance, there's no trouble to receiving what it is that we ask for. Just like that. And that very powerful experience that I had was what really solidified for me that I needed to ask more often for specific things that I need and specific things that I might want. Not necessarily in a selfish way, like people say, I want a million dollars or to win the lottery. Not like that. But wanting from a good, clean heart space. It's fair to ask for food when we're hungry. There's nothing wrong with that. We, uh, we need food, we need water, we need shelter, and we do need love. We don't have to have it. But it does make light life more interesting and worth living for. <laughs> As the Princess Bride quote goes, what you got here that's worth living for? <laughs> to love. <laughs> that's right. Starting with ourselves, even if there isn't another person that we feel comfortable 
to be in true love with. We can be in true love with this life, life itself, and have an interactive giving and receiving, asking and replying kind of relationship with this life. So I encourage you. That's what I've done, and I've continued to develop it over these years. The first time I did this with the story that I just mentioned, that had to have been sometime in my late 20s, maybe around 27 or 28 years old. Well, that was a long time ago, <laughs> and I've just been continuing to develop this intuition and honing technique around nature ever since. It's become a beautiful, beautiful relationship, beautiful support network, beautiful communication. I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world and it's become my best friend. And I'm really grateful and thankful for that. So I encourage you if you'd like to develop your intuition and if you'd like to be able to receive the kind of messages giving and receiving, asking and receiving, like I did, allow yourself to be humble and courageous enough to ask for what it is that you want or need. And then check in with yourself and make sure that you aren't feeling or thinking something that is opposite of what you're asking for. And if it is, explore more about that and find out what you need to do to get the thinking and the feeling to come together. Now that would be a perfect time to bring up journaling, of course. Journaling is just one of the many methods that I have used, do use, and you can use to be able to get your thoughts and your feelings to co-mingle so that they are on the same page and you get those angel and the devil on the shoulders to work together. <laughs> and I encourage you to do so as well. It's a beautiful life journey when you've got the support of nature on your side and when you're not going against your own grain. Arbutus Lake in Arbutus, Wisconsin, where very often in the early, early mornings you can hear loons. So I'm out of the lake. <laughs> that was an amazing swim. I was about out there about an hour. I was out there swimming and I heard some loons. And I thought, no way, this can't possibly be. Maybe someone's doing a loon call. <laughs> so I swam out more towards the little of the middle of the lake. There were a pair of loons. I got to swim within about 10 feet of a pair of loons. And I learned all kinds of wonderful things while I was out there with them. One of them is that the way they make that sound, it actually happens because their their little beaks are, are doing this to make that vibration kind of a um, sound. And if we're lucky, they'll call for us while while I'm on camera with you. And it was a it was a pair. It was a beautiful black, dark black beaked male with the the slicked back black feathers and a white band around its neck. And it had some gray feathers here, and I think there were some little black spots on ar around its chest area. And then the female was shorter in stature, so the like the male head would be here, and the female head would be about here as it sat in the water. And she was all dark charcoal gray, green gray kind of color, and she had a little bit of speckling on her chest. And she didn't make any noise. <laughs> it was it was he who was making all the noise. He was calling to another loon that might have been over in the lake next door that we could hear. <laughs> so I definitely invite and encourage you to please, 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 pretty please, open up and engage with nature because personal growth through nature is not only inviting and exciting and fun and intriguing and delighting, 
but it also can give us safety. It can let us know when things are um, not well and we need to um, move, for example, and get out of a place that's unsafe. It can let us know when we need to make a change or um, if the direction is shifting, so to speak, or if we need to um, change up what we're doing because the weather is not going to be good, for example. So um, I just, I really encourage you, please take this opportunity to allow yourself to do some personal growth through nature. Get out in nature and ask a question that you might, might have on your heart or mind. And you never know what you might see. You know, you might ask for a loon and get one. You might ask for some, some dinner and you might get some. Or even if you don't get that, you might just get some companionship for a while. You might be seen and heard by nature in a way that you never thought was possible. And you might just enjoy yourself for a while. Thank you for watching today's Will You Grow show. Are you glad you came? I'm glad you came. Isn't, isn't this gorgeous countryside? Just to look at it is enough to just bring a person peace and joy and wonder. Again, Lake Arbutus, a beautiful place for you to come visit. If you haven't been, it's in Wisconsin. And I think I'm going to be coming back here at least once a year. I'm, I'm thinking this would be a good place for me to be. And nature was enjoying having me here as much as I enjoyed being here. So it, it's calling me. So maybe we can come on a future adventure here next year and following years. Speaking of adventures, join me on tour. Join me on tour. I'm going to be in Tennessee in September and October. The third Tuesday of each of those months, we'll be taking a day hike to Abrams Falls. If you like to swim, we'll be swimming into the falls at the bottom of the hike in the mountains, and then we'll come back out and go to a five-star supper at the Dancing Bear Appalachian Bistro. Al fresco, so it's casual, but the food is fantastic. <laughs> And so that's the third Tuesday of each month in September and October. And then in the end of October, come join me at the beach. Join me in Beaufort, South Carolina, where the 28th, I'll be giving a workshop entitled Personal Growth Through Journaling, Inviting Peace, Passion, and Joy. That workshop is a part of the infamous Pat Conroy Festival and Literary Center Festival. And I'm very excited to be a part of that. It's a beautiful beautiful place as well as an incredible opportunity to meet a lot of great authors. Then on that Sunday following on October 30th you can join me out at Hunting Island, my favorite island in the nation. A very special magical place that I'd love to introduce you to. So come out, join me. We'll take a hike out there and I'll show you some of the great horned owls if they're up to playing with us that day as well as some dolphins at the beach. Most of the hike will be back in the shaded areas, so you don't have to worry about too much time in the sun. But once you come out with me in the morning to take the nice hike, you can spend the entire day in the sunshine there at the park. So I hope to see you on tour soon. Go down to the description box, click the description box, and find the tour that best suits you. Learn all the details down there and get yourself signed up. I want to see you one-on-one. -on -one. You could also book a session with me. First session is complimentary if you book a session of packages and we can actually look at what it is that's your limitation. And I will walk alongside you so that you can release yourself from that limitation. I'll also encourage you to take courage to ask for the things that it is that you need and that you want. You could ask nature, you can ask God, you can ask that inner source. But just asking and making sure that your thinking and feeling are matching, getting them to move forward in the same direction, it creates miracles. It allows miracles to happen for you in your world. So I'm excited to see what those miracles are going to be for you. You be in touch. Just write me a message in the comments section, or um, you know, you can always send me an email as well. I'm looking forward to getting to you to know you better, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on tour. So thanks again for watching today's show, and I send you off today mm, with a gorgeous view of Lake Arbutus, and I send you off always, always with love from Angelique.
If you'd like to buy the book Angelique described in today's show, it's available to purchase by following the link in the description box. By purchasing through that link, you will be supporting your own learning, the publisher, and Will You. Just click the link in the description box to buy your book about practical intuition. The key to healing and transformation is to know thyself. One of the best ways to enhance self-awareness is to take pen to paper. Will You, the company that creates tools for inspiration and joy, introduces 11 styles of hardcover journals. These gorgeous 200-page hardcover journals contain light charcoal lines on cream paper, beckoning you to unbridle your mind and write. Knowing your purchase supports environmental charities. Available at willyougrow.com and amazon.com. Join Angelique and the Will You Grow team on tour. Be inspired and empowered by an immersive nature experience and supper in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. A live workshop during beautiful Beaufort, South Carolina's Pat Conroy Literary Festival. And a nature tour of Angelique's favorite place on earth, Hunting Island, South Carolina. Adventure with us every third Tuesday of the month through October in Townsend, Tennessee for a day hike to Abrams Falls followed by a casual five-star supper on the patio at the Dancing Bear Appalachian Bistro and Lodge. Adventure with us Friday morning, October 28th in beautiful Beaufort, South Carolina for a writer's workshop presented by Angelique to invite more peace, passion, and joy into your life. This workshop is in partnership with the Pat Conroy Literary Center and its festival, celebrating Pat Conroy, a leading figure of late 20th century Southern literature. Join Angelique and a myriad of authors, celebrities, writers, and New York Times bestsellers as they present workshops to educate and inspire you on your life journey. While in South Carolina, adventure with us on Sunday, October 30th for an immersive nature experience as Angelique leads you to deepen your connection with nature and experience walking the sandy trails of the tropical forest with loblolly pines, deer, herons, and great horned owls. Enjoy all these great adventures and come travel with us on tour. Click the link to Adventure Tours in the description box and book your tickets now to see us there. For more information about programs offered by Will You, Mentoring with Angelique, and to watch video success stories from clients, explore willyougrow.com. If you or your company are interested in inspiring our mutual audience by sponsoring this or another of our programs, let's talk about it. Boost viewer confidence and trust in your company. Call 1-833-WILL-YOU, then press extension number 6. Make sure to click the subscribe button to get reminders before upcoming shows.